Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Pisces for the month of March 2022. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Also, although I am reading for March, you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this video. Um, when you're drawn to the video is when you're meant to hear its message. So, I feel like um, somebody turned another, somebody turned an offer down. Somebody turned your offer down, possibly, or this is vice versa. You're in this time apart thinking. So somebody turned an offer down and then went into um, like a isolation reflection. Maybe, maybe preparing themselves for something um, or trying to heal from something. This person is still thinking of you. Maybe they're trying to understand something about the situation. Um, it feels like it feels like uh, from what I can see here, uh, they th took a decision to walk away to throw in the towel. And this person was upset. So emotions were running high. They felt something was off or wasn't right. Um, they could have uh, acted on suspicion or reacted on their suspicion rather than fact. So they could have jumped the gun, threw in the towel, and went to the extreme so they'd have uh, they would have erased everything blocked you maybe everywhere deleted everything that reminded them of you and now regret it i mean they they would have erased everything blocked you everywhere uh but you can't block the mind or the heart you can't. They feel powerless when it comes to that, when it comes to the emotion, the memory. The memory. Yeah, because I mean, like, you can't stay busy all the time, right? At some point, you stop being busy, and then everything comes back again. And so here we have them in the hanged man. Uh, it's the same energy uh, here at the bottom of this dice. It's hard to get it in, in focus with, I think, because it's so small. Anyway, six of cups. They're reflecting on a past situation. It's what they're doing down here, trying to understand it, trying to uh, seek uh, answers um, they may eventually seek these answers from you. Um, they could be seeking answers within. They could be asking for guidance. Um, they could receive uh, new information that changes things. There's deep regret over a tower moment. I feel like they brought in the tower. That I feel like they did an impulsive action that they overreacted. Maybe this has to do with attention. Maybe people giving you too much attention. Maybe them not getting enough attention. Maybe uh, this caused other thoughts or fears to 
um, to go round in the mind. You know, maybe you're somebody very popular. Maybe you get a lot of attention, but maybe this person has some jealousy issues. Maybe they felt you gave more attention to, you know, your friends or um, anybody but them, <laughs> basically. They, want, they wanted your attention. They may have felt that they, this was lacking. Mm -hmm. I feel like they kept a lot inside. It was like they, it was something that built up and it just happened to erupt at that particular time. There's deep regret. Um, I feel like this person has had time to think. And I feel like they, they want to come back. We have the Ace of Cups, so I do feel that they're, see, they're looking for solution. Yeah, again, um, I feel like they're they're really regretful. For having walked away, for having reacted the way they did. Um, I wish I knew then what I now uh, what I know now. Because they have received some new information or they have gotten some new insights. They now maybe understand what was happening back then, but I mean, is it too late? Has this person gone too far? Has this person run out of chances? They're looking for solutions. They're this person has been praying for a solution, for a way, or uh, for them to be shown the way to get another chance. And it could be that they feel called to, to reach out to you to come clean about something. To come clean maybe about their reaction or why they left. This person, it's possible they want to make you a deal. I'm hearing negotiate something. And, and only you would understand that uh, phrase, but that, that's what they're telling me. It's like um, they, want, they want to negotiate. So I, I kind of feel like they want to make you a new promise. Like, uh, if you take me back, I promise, you know, because this is about one last chance. It's, it's what this reading is about. It's what they want. One last chance, indicating that um, it's possible that they may be reactive or have been reactive in the past, which has brought a lot of heartbreak here, that they are, this night is impulsive. But yet you guys are still really attracted to one another. So they want to um, negotiate a new beginning. Possibly they will make you a new promise. Um, they do have the, uh, they do have good intentions and they, they do um, want a long-term commitment with you. So one last chance, we can overcome this dark time. My soul is restless without you. Um, I feel like this person has a lot of things turning in their mind. Um, yeah. Uh, it feels like they want to, <clears throat> excuse me, they want to, they're going to present to you 
new possibilities. <clears throat> this is a card of a new chapter in life, so it's not going to be like it, it was before. And I feel like this is part of the promise, part of the deal, part of the negotiation, or a, a, a very important part of it that they want you to see that it's not going to be like it was before. They want, yeah, see, they want a serious relationship and there's a possibility here that this person will ask for your hand in marriage. They promise that things are going to go well. You have three yeses here. So, This person is looking back at what they've done in regret. You see that all over this uh, reading. Yeah, it's like they let you get away. They let you get away, but now it's like they want you back. Um, they let you go, but they want you back. And to do so, they have to move a mountain they have to move a mountain and this is heavily on their mind the mountain having to do with um what happened and it's like they're gathering the uh with the um, the convenenza being here they would be gathering um the strength um the courage uh, to do this, um, to be able to, to, to face this challenge, which is this mountain. Yeah. You know, I would say, um, this person is looking at this mountain and it's heavily on their mind how am I going to uh, get past this mountain. The mountain is the challenge because uh, they're um, facing a challenge in the card that's before it. Whatever this is, it's huge. And um, it's going to take a lot of courage, a lot of strength, but they have it. They have the ability to do it. Um, my suggestion would be, especially with the hangman being here, because maybe they're trying to uh, understand how to get around this mountain or how to get over the mountain. The key here is not uh, moving the mountain. Um, I feel like the mountain uh, will just kind of dissipate in time. I feel like the person... Uh, it's not about getting over the mountain. It is actually going with the natural flow of things uh, and flowing around it. So going with the flow instead of against it would be the answer. Now, um, yes, and... Um, this takes them where they want to go. This is about making up. And this person is, um, see, here it is. Oh, making up. Um, getting back together. This is a card of... Um, Attraction, coming together, a promise. So, a new promise. You might be questioning whether it is real or not. I feel that it is. And you will be very tempted to take this person back. And that, that's going to be your question, should you? Um, I would say by what I see in the cards, 
I would say yes, but I mean, because you have the sun and you have it twice. You have the Ace of Cups. Does this person love you? Yes. Let's remember, you got three yeses here, plus you have the sun twice. This p has the potential for a very happy outcome. And with the sun, uh, the sun can also speak to marriage and family, overcoming difficulties. This person has had a realization. You see, when they when they look to the future, they, they always saw you in it. Um, they're facing a challenge here in the future, and it, it is one that takes courage. We, we see what's going through their mind. It's on the back of the chair, you know. And you see they're looking to the future. So if they want this vision that's on the back of the chair, if they want that, then they, they need to get up and make the change because the help that they pray for, it's within them. It's already there. They already have it. They simply have to choose it. There is a happy homecoming in this card six of cups and you see these people are returning home so somebody is returning and this uh, speaks to a happy homecoming that is what i have for you i thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and um and for subscribing also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.